Hey friends, it's Kirk Harnack in here for the Telus Alliance and specifically Omnia Audio, and even more specifically, the Omnia 7 and the Omnia 9 and products that contain uh, processing from the Omnia 9, like Zipstream, stream encoding software with the Omnia 9 uh, option. Well, there's some cool things, of course, you can do with Omnia 7 and Omnia 9 by remote control, because there's a program that comes with these products. It's called NF Remote. And NF Remote is truly amazing in what it lets you see and hear and control from a remote location. It lets you, of course, adjust the processing, but it also gives you great visual displays. And those displays are so pretty that you might want to have them up on a monitor in your shop or maybe even in your radio station lobby if you want to geek out a little bit. Well, I wanted to find a way to start NF Remote and have it just come up on full screen displays. Come up, connect, and show you the full screen displays of the processor that you want to take a look at. So I'm going to see about putting this in the lobby of one of my radio stations. Let's take a look at how you do that. Here's our Windows 10 PC where NF Remote is installed. And if you just open NF Remote in the normal way, what you get is a list of the remote uh, processors that you've set up in NF Remote. Now, I've got some of the data uh, blanked out here for you, <laughs> for, for my safety. <laughs> but uh, uh, what you would do is go to any one of these and double click on it, and it would uh, connect to the remote uh, processor, and then it would show you the screen just like that. And then you can make that full screen by clicking menu and displays only, and then you see a full screen display of, of what's going on there. So that's a, a few steps to get to a full screen display. Well, I want to see if we could get a display uh, full screen without having to go through all that process. And I found out that there is a way to do it. Uh, here's what you do. Uh, if you go to the directory where NF Remote got installed on your computer, there's a file called nfremote.txt. And you can open this up and it will give you some parameters for starting NF Remote. So you can have all these different parameters, all these different startup arguments uh, in your uh, in your shortcut to NF Remote. Uh, you can give it a, uh, uh, tell it where the host name is, the password for it, and the port number. Uh, perhaps you've changed it. It defaults to 7300 if, uh, if you didn't change it. So that's how you do it. Let's take a look at one of the um, shortcuts that I created based on this. We'll take a look at this shortcut and look at the properties. So as you can uh, see, as in, with any shortcut, uh, tells the directory to start in, that NF Remote directory, of course, where it got installed. But uh, let's take a look here at the actual target command. So here's the target, users, owner, app data, local, uh, NF Remote.exe. And then after that, I put in my host name. There's the host name, blanked out, <laughs> and the port number that I put it on, and the password and the word retry in case it didn't connect the first time, it'll give it another try, and the argument displays underscore only. And so that will start it up with all the behaviors that I want. And of course, under uh, general properties of this uh, shortcut, I can make it read uh, what I want. NF remote star 94307 for Omnia 7 displays. And so there we go. And so when I double click on this shortcut, it performs all those tasks. It connects to the remote site, establishes, and Voila, it is full screen. It's exactly what I want to show on my monitor um, in, the, in the lobby or maybe the engineering office, wherever I would like. So it'll just open up full screen like that. You could even, of course, put this in the startup group. So if the PC had to reboot, after reboot, it would come back up and be displaying this on the monitor. So there are lots of just things you can look at and display on NF Remote, I'm not going to go into all that because that's a whole another topic right there and well covered in the manual and in some videos that Leif Clayson has done. Pretty cool, huh? I love it. And we're going to see if, if I can convince the general manager to uh, let us put this up on our big monitor in the lobby of our Hawaii radio station, uh, Star 94.3. I'll let you know if it comes out that way. Take care.